we are Samantha and Jacob. And we are students in room 60 at Russell Elementary School. We have a fun program to prepared for you today. We learned a little bit about Mr. Cortez, our teacher, in the interview. We also learned about the justice system and a little bit about how it works. We all love to watch anime, and our entertainment team has a segment to teach us about the origin of anime. But first, let's learn about one of my favorite things ever, tamales. Ooh, yummy. Tamales are especially made of corn mozomerica, but on the inside of the tamales, you can put carne molida, rice, vegetables, pollo, and on the top, you can put butter, ketchup, cheese, chill, and chili. And the Aztecs made tamales for the festival at Adamokalisti to celebrate the birth of the corn god and its golly to pay respect to the fire god. They make tamales with the fire from the stove, so Spanish considered it, brought pots, pants, and women start steaming the corn cake and wraps. Package the Spanish also introduced more flavors, adding meat and lard to the vegetable delight. Some of the names of the restaurant to eat tamales in Los Angeles are called Tamales Elena, La Indiana Tamales, and Tamaleria Los Yaquis. But if you make some at home, you can eat at home and other places. The accent and Maya use tamales as easily portable food for hunting trips and for traveling large distance. They considered scar stars and as they were seen as the food of the gods. Evidence of tamale cooking dates back to ancient civilization is Mexico as early as 8,000 BC. Many historians believe that tamales were first made by the Aztec 10,000 years ago. It makes me... That looks delicious. It makes me hungry. Yeah, it does. You know what I love to do while I'm eating tamales? You know what? I like watching TV, and my favorite thing to watch is anime. Here is our entertainment team to tell us about that, about anime. The earliest examples of Japanese animation can be traced back to 1917. The defining characteristics of the anime art style we know today is first emerged in the 1960s through the works of Usamu Tezuka. The creator of anime was Usamu Tezuka. The first Examples of anime dates back to 1917. The characteristics of the anime arts are social, complex plots, animation, and more. Anime is a specific style of cartoon slash Japanese animation. Anime is good to some people because of its amazing plot lines. Anime refers to a specific style of cartoon produced or inspired by Japanese animation. Think of it this way. All anime shows are cartoons, but not all cartoons are anime. But beyond its distinctive visual look, anime has endeared itself into the hearts of fans because of its complex characters and engaging plot lines. Anime is a Japanese style cartoon. Also, not all animes are exactly cartoons, but besides that, many fans love anime for its amazing plot lines, its complex characters, and how comforting it is to many people. Modern anime began, began in 1956 and found lasting success in 1961. In the establishment of Moshi Productions by Osamu Tezuka, a leading figure in modern manga, the dance 
novelistic Japanese comic book style of contributed greatly to the aesthetic of anime. Anime got more well known in 1953 and was still successful in 1961. A characteristic art style emerged in 1960s with the works of cartoonistic Asumu Tezuka and spread in following decades, developing a large domestic audience. Anime is the distributed directly through television broadcasts directly to home media and over the internet. A character art style with the works of Tezuka, anime went through broadcast media television. The first animated film came out in Japan in 1971 and since we now know that anime is the Japanese name for it, it implies that this was also the beginning of anime journey. Anime got its popularity in 1990 in the United States. It gained popularity when they had very bright colors. And anime got into the US when a anime with some English throughout the series is the anime Astro Boy. I love anime. Me too. The stories are really amazing. Yes, they are. Here's my random question of the day. What do you know about the justice system? Funny you should ask. I have a video that can teach us something about that. The Department of Justice was created on July 1st, 1870. Early theories of justice were set out by ancient Greek philosophers. Plato is related because they think he created justice. Many believe Plato to be the father of justice. Plato created justice in 340 BC because he wanted equal rights. The first U.S. Supreme Court was held in New York City, Royal Exchange. The criminal justice system compromised for of three major justice major. Justice works for by a judge who has a defendant and a plaintiff, and whoever wins gets their rights, and the person who that loses gets into prison. Justice was created to protect the innocent from criminals. It's good to know about the justice system. That was really important information. I think I may want to be a judge or run for office when I grow up. Really? Like Mr. Cortez? He ran for office? I had no idea. Take a look at this interview. Hello, my name is Alexander and I'm here with Mr. Cortez. Good morning. Good morning. What is your role? I'm a teacher at Russell Elementary School. I've been teaching here for 11 years. Why do you want to be a teacher? I wanted to be a teacher for kids like you to make sure that all the kids um, do well in school and be able to go to college and have a great uh, future and career. How did you start teaching? You know, I was trying to be an engineer and I got a job as a teacher assistant, uh, as a part-time. And then once I started working with kids, I realized that was something I really wanted to do all my life. And 30 years later, I'm here working with kids I saw the change when they learned something new, and I saw that I was able to really help kids, and that made me change my mind, and I stopped, um, I decided to become a teacher once I graduated. Uh, would you like to tell me where you were born? I was born in Mexico, in Mexico City. Uh, do you have any family in Mexico or in the U.S.? Most of my family is in the USA now. I do have extended family in Mexico, but the, the closest family members are in the USA, mostly in California. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Mexico until I was 16. And then when I moved here, I moved and I grew up uh, in Whittier, the city of Whittier. What kind of sports were you into? In high school, I was in track and field and cross country, I like running. So once I joined the running team, I realized that uh, uh, I was good at it, and I really enjoyed doing it and actually uh, practiced more to become better. 
what type of college did you go to? After high school, I attended Cerritos College in the city of Norwalk. Then I transferred to Castel, Los Angeles. And once I graduated from there, I got my teaching credential at Dominguez Hills. Have you ever uh, ran for any school boards or anything like that? Yes. I ran for the Cerritos College Board of Education in 1997. Um, I lost. I, I had to campaign in a place with half a million people. Then recently I ran uh, for the ABC Unified School District School Board. And again, uh, I ran against an incumbent. And uh, I lost, but uh, it was a great experience. What would what you have done if you would have won? If I had won, uh, I would have served my community, my school, and the students and the teachers um, to make sure that the curriculum and what they're learning and are the best. Um, so I would have done that and continue doing that. But even though I didn't win, I still go to the school board me meetings and I speak when I think uh, they're not doing a good job or the kids need something uh, better and I make sure that they hear my opinion. Thank you, Mr. Cortez, for your time. We're glad having you here. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Mr. Cortez did a lot of very cool things. Yes, he did. Well, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like our video and subscribe for more. And share with your friends and family. We'll make more. Until next time. Bye. Bye.